Hey, me and Angus are walking out to the shop. I'm going to show you a quick tip on leather work. Save you a couple of dollars before you start buying a whole bunch of tools. All right, here's your simple tip on saving a few dollars. If you don't have the money to buy a stitching groover, which is this tool right here, you can adjust it by loosening here, adjust this, and it gives you a space between here and here. This rides along the outside of your leather. This sets the groove for the stitches. So what you do, once you got your groove there, you can come back with the, a tool like this. It's got an embossing wheel in there right now for doing um, embossing, but you can get these different stitch markers. And what they do is each one has a little bit different space between the points. So if you replace the little embossing wheel there with one of these and you roll it along the groove that you just made, it leaves stitch marks right there where you can see where you need to punch your holes or drill your holes or however you're going to do your holes. Now if you can't afford this and this you can always get one of these, a good old fashioned caliper. Use the wet leather. You can see where I did a little bit right here. Same, same thing. You ride the edge and leave your mark. And that'll ride all the way around as far as you go. And then the same principle, you come back in and you can roll this to give you the stitch marks. And remember that is going to be inside of this. I just forgot to put it in there. But say you can't afford a stitching groover, just not something you need right now, and you don't have one of these, and you can't get these yet, but you will. And you can't remember where you had this last time in high school, or if you, they even use these anymore, but these are actually my grandfather's. And here's the simple little trick. Go to the kitchen, or the Dollar Tree, or the Goodwill, and grab you some forks. Go to the kitchen, grab some forks. Here's why. Wet leather, fork, fork nice groove now these are the oval pieces that we use for uh, belt buckles and same shape for a uh, hair barrettes different items put a whole bunch of them together like this and you can make belts but anyway that is your stitching groove it's a nice little border everything's ready to go and this is a great thing look for a fork that has the right amount of distance that you need. So you need so you need one that's got a little bit more curve to it, a little bit straight to it. Here's why. If you've got a nice little curve, just a barely a little curve, for oval shapes like this, it's fantastic. 
here's your stitching groove or your stitch marks start just let the natural shape of the fork fall into the grooves and if you get a, a point where it's a little too close just barely make a spot you can see right there you just barely make it the next spot you can see it right there barely make the next spot you can see it right there until you work your way all the way around that's great for little curves great for ovals like this something that's got a more of a straight line that's great for uh, longer distances like the side of a, a holster or maybe some chaps or something like that but don't have to buy all this stuff yet you will eventually I'm sure you can get away with a nice piece of leather and an oyster fork hope this helped